Hey everybody, I'm the Gulf Coast Granny and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a very simple salmon cucumber pasta salad. So the first thing we're going to do with this salad is take some of this ditalini pasta. It's a cup and I'm going to put it in this boiling water that I've already started. The next thing we're going to do is slice up this cucumber. I'm going to slice it long ways and I've already taken quite a bit of the skin off. I like to do that just so I have a little bit of color and decoration in my salad. You know if your food doesn't look good, it doesn't matter if it tastes good or not, it just doesn't look appetizing and you might not want to eat it. Now I'm taking this spoon and I'm scraping the seeds out of the center of this cucumber and making like a boat. And the reason I do that is number one, it cuts down on the gas that cucumbers tend to cause. And also, it cuts down on the water in your dish. Who wants a soppy, watery pasta salad? I guess I should set the timer on this pasta. It says 10 minutes. Gonna stir it just a little bit to keep it from getting stuck together. Ooh. And now I'm just gonna dice up the cucumbers. And I'm gonna cut them into bite-sized chunks. I'm just gonna throw these cucumbers into our bowl. I've already pre-grated one whole carrot, so we'll put that in there. And now I'm gonna slice up tomatoes. You know what's funny? It took me years to figure out that you need a serrated edge knife to slice tomatoes. I kept wondering why in the world aren't my tomatoes cut and I'd get the sharpest knife I could find and it would smash my tomatoes. Once I learned the serrated edge knife trick, I haven't smashed a tomato since. I'm just cutting these little cherry tomatoes in half. And now I've got this great big fat piece of salmon. Now you can use canned salmon, pouch salmon, any kind of salmon you want. I just had this left over from a video I did a couple of days ago. So I decided to use what I had. Take the salmon and dump it in there with the rest of the vegetables. Now we're not going to put these tomatoes in yet. We're going to wait till the salad is completely made and then we'll put them in and toss them just a little. And that way the tomatoes will maintain their integrity and not get smashed all in the salad. I'm going to set our bowl aside for now. And now we're going to make the dressing. And the dressing calls for, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of mayonnaise. And I'm gonna add the same amount eyeballing it. That's about a half a container of plain Greek yogurt. We're also gonna squirt in just about a tablespoon of horseradish sauce. We're gonna squeeze a bit of lemon juice in there, maybe a teaspoon or so, and we're going to stir it up. I'm going to add quite a bit of pepper, I'd say half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. It'll end up being a half a teaspoon. I like pepper. Just about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now what I'm going to do is sprinkle this dill all over the top. I want a bunch in there because I really want that dill flavor to come through. I've made it good and dark on the top with dill. And I forgot one thing. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of sugar in here. Now y'all know I'm not measuring anything. 
because I just don't measure. Unless I'm baking. I'll measure when I'm baking. But a lot of times what I do is just uh, throw stuff together, taste it, and if it doesn't taste right, add what I think it needs till it does taste right. Well, it sounds like our pasta's finished, so we'll drain that. Okay, now the pasta's drained, and we need our big bowl back. We're going to pour our pasta into the salad. Y'all, I'm not using a lot of pasta for this because pasta is just not one of my favorite dishes. Um, Poppy likes it, so I'm compromising this week. But there's actually, there's more salmon and vegetables in this bowl than there is pasta. See that? Go ahead and put some of that in there. And toss it around. I think it's going to need just a little more. What I normally do is I'll put half of my dressing in to see if it is enough and then add more. There, that's perfect. That's the perfect amount, actually. Um, See, it's not too wet and not too dry. And now, we're going to top it with our tomatoes. And then I'm just going to toss it around a bit. Coat the tomatoes with the dressing. Now I think I'm going to spoon out a little bit into this bowl and have a taste. See that? That's pretty salad, and it'll make a great lunch. Oh, that's good. Y'all, that's delicious. This salad makes about six one-half cup servings. I'm not sure exactly how far it'll go with the kids home this week, but I've got some other things I'm going to prep a little later in the day. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Look, I'm going to clean up this mess. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again real soon. All right?